a very interesting question was submitted by a viewer in my comment section of the previous videos and i thought that a detailed video on this topic would be very interesting the question was can a sadhak return to the state of savikalpa or this dualism this world after having achieved the state of nirvikalpa samadhi or the state of unified consciousness that is brahma gyan so after nirvikalpa samadhi after brahma gyan can a sadhak return to this dimension of this world to this level of this world and again participate in all the normal activities can is that possible it is possible of course it's possible and many sadhakas have already done that previously uh the thing is one would ask that isn't nirvikalpa samadhi about being merged into god consciousness you see there is nothing else but god consciousness it's all one unified consciousness always that unified consciousness of god appears in this different forms just for the sake of play to experience to play to have fun for the sake of entertainment for learning to grow and for this vari variety of you know life experiences so but it's always it's one so entering this video game this unreal world playing a character in it which is not real again who is playing that one unified consciousness is playing this different roles different characters in this video game so when you say mukti brahma gyana what is mukti who is getting freedom the fake character you realize that the part that you were playing was a you that you were participating in this drama of life and that you were playing a fake character but actually it's god consciousness and nothing else but god consciousness it's just one unified god consciousness everywhere so uh and whether you can again participate in the game of course you can again participate in the game you are completely free to play any character then and if you want to play the game again as shashwat mondol then again of course you can play as that character and uh, why is it said that after nirvikalpa samadhi uh, one usually the body uh, you know perishes after 21 days that is because the body is not habituated after nirvikalpa samadhi the consciousness is so detached from the body that it becomes very difficult for a sadhak to eat or drink water and because the body cannot live without food or water so the body gives way it can't keep itself it can't sustain itself without food and water so after 21 days it dies but the consciousness of course keeps on going it moves to higher dimensions now the thing is is it possible then how is it possible it is possible because through yoga yogis can habituate the body to live on without food and water that is possible and for them even after nirvi kalpa samadhi they can easily sustain the life now would it be possible for bhaktas to do so yes it can be possible because if you are determined to do a certain thing everything is possible for you no matter you if you are a yogi or a bhakta or whatever if you set your mind if you are determined to do something you can do that so uh, there are ways to do anything so after nirvikalpa samadhi even after merging with god consciousness you can return you can play the game but the thing is even you wouldn't be sure at present whether you would have that same desire after having attained nirvikalpa samadhi that is the thing now you are imagining it from this level from this perspective from the perspective of now at at the present level whatever in whichever level you are but the thing is after evolving after having attained nirvikalpa samadhi after having attained brahma gyana would you again desire to play this game if so it is possible so and another thing that i uh, this question made me think deeply about it and what i realized i want to share it with you is that at present in this moment everything is possible for you everything is accessible to you it only depends on what frequency you are accessing at present if you are if you can 
align your frequency to the level of Sri Ramakrishna, you are Jivan Mukta. If you can align your frequency to Adi Shankaracharya, you are Jivan Mukta. You are Brahma Gyani, completely free. That is the purpose of all our sadhana and japa and you know all that. To maintain, to be able to maintain ourselves in one particular frequency. A very high frequency. And touch that sorcerer's stone, touch that parasmani, so that the iron is transformed into gold. Then you don't have to, you won't have any difficulty to maintain that frequency. You are transformed into that frequency. You become that. And after that you are free. To again, you know, go whichever way you want to. Play whatever game, in whichever place, in whichever character you want to. That is freedom. The thing is, we want that Gyan. We want that Brahma Gyan. We want that Nivikalpa Samadhi. After that, we are free to choose to be a viewer of the game, to participate in the game, to not at all be interested in the game or whatever. Everything is possible. And if you say, well, it seems very difficult. Well, it is difficult even, you know, how many people are there? How many good heart surgeons do you think are there in the society? It's rare. How many scientists are getting, you know, get jobs in NASA? Well, it's rare, but it's not impossible. If you are determined, you can do it. I would say it's easier than getting a job in NASA. <laughs> the only thing is that you have to be determined to do it. Even Brahmanaji Maharaj used to say that, well, having God realization is easier than passing Bose exams because the amount of study, the amount of, uh, you know, the hardships a student has to go through to get good results in their board exams is, you know, that is more difficult. God realization is easier. Well, uh, it only depends on perspective. You know, if you are passionate about something, you know, hard work is nothing to you. You will, of course, you will, you know, put in your 100% into it. So it depends on your determination. That's all. And of course, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. So that's it. Jai Maha Jai Thakur. Hari Om.